Hello, yes, that's right, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. And what we're gonna be looking at is what you should be inspecting on your boat before you go sailing. Here at Wildwind, we've got a large fleet of catamarans. So perhaps the routine that we have here will differ slightly from your own situation. But what we're gonna be looking at is what we check every single time before the boat goes sailing and then what checks are carried out every week and then what checks are carried out once a month. We're gonna start off just by checking all of the pins and rings that hold the mast up. Most important thing is that our mast is not going to fall down. Having done that, we'll then uh, replace any telltales that need replacing. And while we're carrying all this out, we'll be having a visual inspection of the boat as well, where we can learn a lot of anything else that has happened. Perhaps um, there's been a broken trapeze elastic or perhaps a piece of rope on the boat is starting to look a little bit less good. If we're sailing a boat which has a spinnaker, we'll also pay particular attention to anything that we feel could potentially catch on the spinnaker and rip it. And then the daily inspection for the rudder system, we're just gonna give the rudder a quick up and down on the land just to check that the cams are okay, the bolts aren't too loose, they've got roughly the right amount of tension and that the bushing is still good. On a weekly basis, what we want to be looking at is any shackles that need to be tight all the time. Obviously, this isn't the shackles like if you were putting your main sheet on, but anything that is holding the mast up, which is a shackle, should tighten these on a weekly basis. We're going to be looking at the batten tension in the main sail, just to make sure that we haven't had any vertical creases appear in the batten pocket. Of course, anything that is wrong with the boat when you check it, you should put it right. Is that obvious? If we're sailing a boat like a, an F-18, Hobie Tiger, Tornado, something that has a tight rig all of the time, we should check the rig tension once a week as well. If you have left your boat rigged with the mast up, so if it's in your sailing club or boat park or anywhere with the mast up, you should drop your mast once a month even if you haven't used the boat very much. If it's a Hobie 16 or 14, we're going to check the mast pivot bearing and replace it if necessary. Well worth having a few of these spare in your toolbox to last you the whole season. So I would say six of these in a season if you're leaving the mast up the whole time is adequate. While your mast is down, we're gonna check the hounds and just tweak that up with an adjustable spanner or a pair of pliers. Again, while the mast is down, we can have a visual inspection of the rigging, looking for anything that looks suspicious, any cracking, anything at all that you think might lead to something breaking and your mast coming down. If you're like us at Wildwind and your boat's being used every day, in a reasonably strong wind, then once a month, it's well worth servicing your rudders. But in the real world, if you're just sailing every weekend and perhaps it's not that windy, then once or twice a season is all right for servicing your rudders. What we like to do is also tighten the trampoline because they do stretch over time. And anything else that is on your boat which is specific to your boat that you feel should have attention on a monthly basis, like the bow tang on a Hobie 16 or 14, you should tighten them up, check that they're not gonna let you down. So to keep you on track, it's a good idea to keep a list like this in your toolbox so that then you're not gonna miss anything. So there we go. Thanks very much for watching. I hope that has been helpful and informative. I'll be back soon with more on Joyrider TV. So if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button and get with the program.